And that brings us That's to right. what you've all been at. You guys have uh, <laughs> hit us up so much. You're asking for more Top Dog. Everybody's like, let's get more Top Dog. <laughs> we love Top Dog. So from us to you, here's a little Happy top early dog. Christmas, right, you guys. Here's a little Top Dog segment. I haven't had any butthole itch for months. <laughs> <laughs> you you need to wipe down. 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 All right, so that, <laughs> that's how you know it's time for Top Dog. And uh, here's what I did. I called Top Dog a couple weeks ago. I was, I was about to do a show. Just wanted to shoot the shit with him and, um, you know, see what, what's on his mind. And, uh, yeah, so what, oh, what, what did I just do? Okay, so here's a, here's a little little segment um, of uh, me and Tatog on the phone. Hello? I hope you uh, so, understand it. Uh, and all day, you ever have one of those days where you just fart all day and you just can't? Yeah. Okay, so let me set this up real quick. I, I use this phone recording thing, and for some reason, even though the recorder was on my end, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's like an app for the iPhone, mm-hmm. he comes in clearly... And I sound a little muffled. Okay. I just want to put that out there and let you know that if that is going to bother you, I want you to know that you can go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. Go and ahead and cry into your diaper, baby. I don't care. And that's, uh, I just want you to let you know that. <laughs> and I also <laughs> fuck yourself. wanted you to know that scum pussies. later filth. on I found out there's like a, a, a higher uh, you know, version, audio version that I can use. So the next one, will hopefully I won't sound this muffled. I start this off by asking my dad, do you ever have one of those days where you just fart a lot? Dad, all day? You ever have one of those days where you just fart all day? You just can't yes. yes, I've had days like that. Don't you love how sincere he is? <laughs> he's so sincere. He's, yes. like, he's like, I have had days like that, buddy. buddy. I do know that. Yeah. Oh, I had it, you know. I had one, and, you know, I had... Can you turn that down? Can you turn down the oh, yeah. background? This yeah. is my life, by the way, with my father. <laughs> Every phone call... Every time I ever, or even if he calls me, yeah. there's a full volume television in the background. And I go, can you please <laughs> turn that down? Every what's, time. What's he watching? American he, Idol. It's always whatever. It's news. It's a game. He's like, oh, yeah, hold on a second, buddy. Yeah. Always. Yeah. I went to John the other day and I had like three false alarms. I thought I was going to do, you know, do a dump. And what I had was these big kind of like gas bombs. <laughs> He went to John's. To the John. He was oh, meant oh, to say, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing came out. <laughs> it's kind of relieving, but it's disappointing at the same time, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> as much as I enjoy taking a shit, <laughs> which I really do, <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's at my age, it's almost like a sexual experience. Um, <laughs> and then you have, and you go, oh, shoot. Well, no. That was him expressing, oh, shoot, is the expressing mm. disappointment. That he didn't take I didn't, a shit. I didn't realize it right then, actually, in conversation. I thought he was saying, oh, shoot, in the moment right. about something that just happened. Yeah, me too. That, no, he was actually saying, like, you know, when you go to, to, to take a shit and nothing comes out, you go, oh, shoot. I think he's right about that old guy thing. That's what my father was saying. Yeah. You, know, you got to take a good shit. You got to yeah. take a piss. It's wonderful. I'm like, all right, I yeah, guess. <laughs> guys fucking really. <laughs> yeah. Because you know what? I think the older you get, you realize... <laughs> Some of the best things are the simple things that we yeah. all do. Cleaning your ears out. Oh, that feels so good. Right? Uh, getting a dry bug. I love it. Dragging you're, it out, flicking it. You're just thankful to be able to take a shit. I yeah. And a, and a shit is such a relief. And you're like, oh, it's man. It's the best, dude. And then you have, <laughs> and you go, oh, shoot. See, he's just. Well, no. And then you come back, and all of a sudden you feel that urge again. And, you know, and you head down the hall, and you. And then, of course, you hope nobody's in the other stall there. But I had, a, I had the other day, I had like three false alarms. Oh, I hate that. I, um, I, you know, I had to, I couldn't, I hate shitting on a plane. I had to sit on a plane today. Oh, I, I hate, hate shitting on planes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's, Who doesn't? He's really? really on board with this idea, too. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I do. I, I don't know what it is. Smaller it's the smaller confinement. Smaller. Yeah. It's the confinement. And they really don't have very good... Let's face it, the toilet paper on planes is not really... It's, up you know, it's not. It's not big league stuff. No, no. You know, you almost feel if like you're, taking your, your own roll in your carry-on luggage. 
and going up yeah. in there and using some of that good Charmin. <laughs> He's got a point. He's got a real good point, man. And I and I I would God. not be. I hope you guys start bringing that good Charmin, as my dad says, <laughs> on flights with you. Pull I, that out. Pull out that roll and be like, I'm going to take a shit. And you can. You can. They'll, they'll let you. Nobody do it. can tell you no. No. What they will. What, what will happen is some people will see you leaving the bathroom, and they'll be like, Did you just take that toilet paper out of the bathroom? And you'll yeah. be like, No, this is my own. Mm-hmm. I brought this. It's like. It's like when we bring, I just farted. Ugh. It's like when we bring Tapatio to the taco stand. Yeah. And then the other patrons are like, can I borrow your Tapatio? I'm like, yeah. fuck no. No, you cannot. I brought this shit from home, bitch. Mm-hmm. Fuck yourself. Go I fuck like your that. I, it is confining. A, I've shit on a plane I only once. On planes. Once. Oh, really? I've done it a few times. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. Believe me, I only do it when there's no other option. Yeah. The worst is, the, I'll tell you, the worst planes to shit on are regional jets. The tiny ones? Oh, uh, yeah, I did <laughs> Salt Lake to Denver. It's an hour flight. Mm. So it's like, I can hold this an hour, right? And then you get the realization, no, you no. can't. It's one of those doors that barely shuts. Oh, uh, like ac- you pull your leg. The accordion you, yeah, door. Uh, oh, it's the worst. And then your, lock. your knee hits the door. And you're like, fuck, I can yep. barely fit in this thing. Yeah. All right, more Top Dog. He's so good. Is that you like? Nick Sherman? Well, I like, I like the double ply Sherman. <laughs> yeah. You know, because your fingers don't go through it like they can with a single ply. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's so this easy. way. Yeah, your finger, your, uh, your finger doesn't go through the paper you're talking about, right? On the double ply, no, no. It's, it, it, you know, so you don't have to worry about it. This way, if you forget you wash your hands, you really don't have to worry about it. If you don't. But with the single ply, you really, you know, you really kind of have to wash your hands. <laughs> That's such a time waster, right? He's really opposed to washing yeah. your hands. Do you hate washing your hands after you take a shit? Well, I wash my hands if other people are in the restroom because I want them to think I'm, you know, civilized. Yeah. But a lot of times I don't. You know, if I'm in a hurry, if I'm in a hurry, I, I don't. But I did today, I think, but not every time. <laughs> What um what happened today when you were you, you said you went or was it today or yesterday you went to mass? It was yesterday. It was yesterday. I don't know what if I ate something, but I was um, you know I was really gassy yesterday. <laughs> oh, gosh, right. But uh, so what happened? Was, tell me the story. Well, you know I'm I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I feel that urge, so I head down the hall, mm-hmm. go in there, you know, drop my jars and waiting for. Something and all of a sudden, I thought, you said, get, the, I thought you said that the bathroom was the door was locked. You had to go use another one. That was uh, that was two days ago. Okay, this is my favorite part: is that he's got so many shit stories that yeah. he had told me one, and then he's actually telling me a, a, another one, and I have to actually put him back on track and blending go, together. Yeah, I'm like, I thought you said he goes, oh, that was two days ago. Never, this is a different and story. Look at you, shit detective. Yeah, getting your facts straight. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, the two. Oh, that was terrible. So I'm downstairs, <laughs> and I'm running behind schedule in the morning, and so okay. all of a sudden as I'm getting out of the car. I feel the urge. I got to take a dump. <laughs> so I'm, I'm at my office, but I'm outside my office in the parking lot. Okay, so so I'm right making the, I got to right, Yeah, oh, I got to go. So I make a beeline for the downstairs bathroom, and somebody's. It's a one staller. <laughs> You know, handicapped, of course, stall, and somebody's in there. Wait, so then so I have you, when, right when I wait, 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 wait. He's, you panic? Well, I, I'm sitting there squeezing my cheeks, okay, <laughs> and I turn around and, and have to take the elevator. I can't walk up the stairs to the second floor because I'm afraid it might blast out. So I have to. I'm getting in the waiting for the elevator. Squeeze. Isn't this amazing That's that it's, it's like your story of today? Yes, it's like Top Dog and I are you have, soulmates. And the thing is, you didn't hear this. No. The, the listeners don't know. No. You, she had never heard this. This is my first time hearing this audio. Yeah. I had no idea no that idea Top Dog... No idea the, sent, the content or anything. We're leading parallel lives right now. Absolutely. See, the, the thing is, when the people that complain about Brown, let me tell you something. Brown is universal. It is. Everybody Browns. Everybody Browns. Yeah, I can't believe Top Dog has to clench his cheek. Do you think he fit... Because I pictured him physically using his hands oh, I've to seen mash him. No, his cheeks No, I've shut. seen him. He waddles. He waddles like a <laughs> penguin. He's like, oh, oh, oh. I gotta go. I gotta go. Move, move, move. Yeah. That's what I do, too. Oh, man. Oh, okay. 
it might blast out. So I have to, I'm getting in the, waiting for the elevator, squeezing my cheeks. Right. And then I, the elevator comes, I open up the, the, you know, go to the upstairs bathroom, which is a two, two staller. Okay. And I am squeezing as hard as I can, but then you got to turn around and do your belt. And then you got the, if, you know, when you get wear a suit pants, you got that other button in there. And I could feel it start to come out. <gasps> really? It was coming out? Oh, yeah. And so I got those pants down, <laughs> sat on there, and just bombs away. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then, then I, get, you know, I get out my toilet paper. You know how you take the first wipe just to see how much is there, how yeah, many? Yeah, totally. And I said, yeah. oh, God, th- this is going to be like a whole roll of toilet paper. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a mess. Oh, it's a mess. So I'm sitting there. I'm just not, I mean, I'm on my, like, my fourth wipe. And I still got a long way to go. So then, then I, then I stood up and I went out, I went out to the, the you know, in the bathroom there, and had, of course I got my underwear down around my pa- my ankles, and I grab a couple. So you're walking, you walk yeah. to the to the sink like that. Yeah, yeah, you know. Do you understand what he did? Oh my god! Do you know what he did in a public restroom? Yeah. He went from the stall. Yeah. With his pants and his underwear down by his ankles. Walked out to the sink to wet some paper. Yeah. So somebody, anybody could have walked in. It was a two stall bathroom and seen my dad, dick and balls out, <laughs> underwear around his ankles, just being like, I'm just wetting some paper. I got a white, <laughs> got a real messy one here. But for some reason, if you walked in on Top Dog doing that, yeah. you'd be like, all right, man. No, you'd get it. Yeah. It you'd wouldn't like, even phase me. I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. He's, you he's like, do that. real messy in here. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Because I needed to, I hadn't finished cleaning. So I got a couple of those uh, towels, you know, those paper towels, and I wetted them up. <laughs> and then I cleaned off. And then, of course, you want to make sure you had black underwear on. This is crazy. You don't know if whether you got any. This is so crazy. I'm just preparing you if you're, like, of, you know, an uneasy stomach, if you can't handle extremes, real shit. Real talk. Real brown talk. You might want to tune out with what he's about to say. You know, stuff on your underwear. Yeah. So I kind of, I kind of, kind of bent over and sniffed my underwear, and it was clean, so I, it was good to go. Ah. Okay. You really sniffed your underwear? Sure, because I wanted to make sure if I got any. I couldn't tell because it was black underwear on. Oh my god. Usually, if it's white underwear, you can see whether you Wait. got something on it. Oh. Um, how often do you do that? How do you throw your underwear? Well, it depends. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I forget which wear. Because, you know, a lot of my underwear I just kind of throw on the floor of the house. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. Sometimes, I, I mean, I, I, I don't really do that very much. I, don't, I really don't do that very much because I had bl- See, with black underwear, you can tell with white underwear whether you got any, you know, sunset in the pants, so to speak. You see that brown. But, yeah, but you can't. This, yeah. this is the trouble with black underwear. Yeah. That is. So, you know, um, this was a big load that you let off, so it sounds like, huh? Oh, yeah, it was. It was. It was breakfast. Now, and what would have happened? What would have happened, let's say, you had gone to the second bathroom and the door was locked? What would have happened then? It could have been. It could have been ugly. You would have seen your pants? Ooh. I think, I, I think, I don't think I could have held it. I think it would have been, yeah. <laughs> it actually happened in the Orlando airport once. <laughs> you see your pants? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> that actually happened in the uh, Orlando airport. He, he said it like a war story. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Like in Hanoi. He was like, yeah, that yeah. actually has happened one time before. At the Orlando, the Orlando airport. And I go, you see your pants? He goes, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't, does your mom do his laundry? Um. Yeah. Dude, she has to see the smitter. She sees a lot of brown and yellow, for sure. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that's so fucked up. Yeah. No wonder she probably buys him the black ones, because she's like, I cannot look <laughs> at your white. Hey, your brown, yellow. Yeah. I think it would have been, yeah. It actually happened in the Orlando airport once. You see your pants? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to get on the airplane. Oh. You know, and I had a little... Where did you what, see your pants? Like, yeah, well, in the Orlando airport. And so what I had to do... Yeah, so I had to take... Like, well, I, I mean, I was, you know, just had to go. I couldn't get there in time. 
a little bit. So what I had to do in the in the stall, this is true. I mean, I had to take my underwear off to clean up, and I had to put, the, you know, I, so I had to fly with no underwear. Oh my God! That's the only time. Oh, I did. I had a little bit of a stain in my khaki <laughs> black, but I had no other. Could you know? I checked my luggage. So, you know, I was thinking, <laughs> thinking the poor person that sat in my in my seat after I sat in it. You know, had no idea what they were in for. No. Oh.